It's the most wonderful time of the year, and we've got a lineup of events that will certainly get you in the holiday spirit. And if the events of the winter are anything like fall, residents are in for a treat. We'll have highlights from some of the most memorable moments. And PSL is, and always will remain, a hometown for heroes. We'll take a look at a new memorial planned for our Veterans Memorial Park. The agenda starts now. Welcome back to another episode of our PSL News Show where we take a look at all the exciting things going on in your hometown. And with the weather on our side, the city's event season is in full swing. Let's take a look ahead. Do you love to laugh? We sure do. And lucky for you, Mid Florida Event Center is bringing you the funny with new stand-up comedy zone beginning November 18. The three shows feature six nationally renowned comedians. No matter which comedy style makes you laugh hardest, the wide range of comedians featured in Comedy Zone should appeal to various audiences. Get tickets at etix.com or in person at the Mid Florida Event Center. Awesome news, rock fans. Great White, the 80s rock group whose touring history spans more than four decades, is coming here to Port St. Lucie's Mid-Florida Event Center. Fans will rock under the stars to all of their greatest hits, and concert goers are invited to bring their own chairs and enjoy the outdoor concert that will transport them back to the 80s. Tickets are available now at etix.com or in person at the Mid-Florida Event Center box office. We have another great event at the Mid-Florida Event Center. It's the holidays, and we're ready for Festival of Lights. This year's theme is Frost and Flannels. Join us for the annual holiday event that features a parade, a tree lighting ceremony, live music, fireworks, arts and crafts, vendors, and much more. But the holiday cheer doesn't end there. The city will launch its second annual PSL and Lights party on Friday, December 16, from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Mid Florida Event Center. Join us for a dazzling light display, a visit from Santa Claus, and children's activities. Yuletide refreshments such as steaming cups of hot cocoa, cookies, and candy canes await you as you listen to holiday music. Make it a jolly time with friends and family by taking a commemorative photo at the Elfie Selfie Station, or drop off a letter to Santa at an official North Pole mailbox. And let's not forget the festive pet costume contest. Pet owners are invited to bring their pets, dress in their holiday best, and join in the pet parade in partnership with the St. Lucie County Humane Society and PSL Animal Control. Each pet and its owner will strut their stuff and judges will vote on the most festive pet. Enter for a chance to win great prizes and bragging rights. To register and learn more, visit cityofpsl.com slash PSL in lights. Do you like to deck your house out in holiday lights? Well, put your house on the PSL in lights map. Snap a photo of your holiday lights display and submit it at cityofpsl.com slash PSL in lights. Starting Thanksgiving, we'll begin adding them to the PSL and Lights map with their location and other details. This gives residents and visitors an easy way to find all the best light displays throughout the city. Your display could even be highlighted at the PSL and Lights party. And if you can't make it to one of our exciting holiday events, don't worry, we've got other dazzling displays for you. Over at the PSL Community Center, you can see even more lights for this year's Winter Wonderland Light Show. Synchronized to holiday music, six leaping arches provide a kaleidoscope of color, while ten oak trees and ten palm trees are adorned with festive lights. Enjoy the light show daily for free throughout December from 7 to 9 p.m. It's a one-of-a-kind light and sound experience that you cannot miss. And did we mention that we really like lights? That's right, we've got even more for you. Don't miss the Holiday Lights at the Gardens. Join us for this free event on select Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights from 5 to 9 p.m. where the gardens will be illuminated. Bring your family and friends and walk through the ornament display for a few holiday selfies. If you like your holidays with a little more flair, then come celebrate Hispanic culture with four-time Grammy Award-winning musician Tomasito Cruz at Nochebuena. Listen to salsa, bachata, merengue, balada, and cumbia, and enjoy drinks and food in the fresh air. Tickets are $5 in advance and $10 at the event. To learn more and purchase tickets, visit pslparks.com. Calling all movie buffs. Join us for Port St. Lucie's Family Movie Night on the Mid-Florida Event Center lawn. Enjoy great Florida weather while watching the family film Polar Express. 
Our neighborhood improvement and community engagement program is happy to bring this event to life. So grab a comfy blanket and get ready to enjoy some free popcorn. At the city, we work to keep residents, visitors, businesses, and neighbors informed about the most important issues we face. In October, City Manager Russ Blackburn provided his yearly review at the Treasure Coast Business Summit at the Mid-Florida Event Center. Mr. Blackburn reviewed Port St. Lucie's key achievements and previewed plans for the infrastructure of the city, as well as many other exciting projects in the works. He also acknowledged city employees and department leaders for their commitment to the residents of Port St. Lucie. You're making Port St. Lucie the city of today and the city of the future. All of us, all of you, are what we're talking about today. After surveying more than 50 potential locations across the state, the Iraq and Afghanistan War Memorial Foundation has chosen Port St. Lucie's Veterans Memorial Park as the home for its new monument. This monument will honor Floridians who served in our nation's wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. My name's Steve Yudovich, and uh, I'm the founder of the Iraq and Afghanistan War Memorial Foundation. And our mission is to establish a monument in honor of Floridians who served in both Iraq and Afghanistan, and especially to pay honor to the 355 Floridians who made the ultimate sacrifice in those two wars. Port St. Lucie is without a doubt has the best Veterans Memorial Park in the state of Florida. As a foundation, we came together and voted this is where we wanted it to go. We talked with city council about it, and it was formalized at the city council meeting on the 19th of September. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all very much for being here. Thank you. We look forward to raising the money necessary for this monument, about $75,000. And we look forward to working with the city of Port St. Lucie and the local veterans community to make this happen. Thank you. Now that a location has been identified, the foundation will start raising funds in January to pay for the Florida Monument. Those interested can find more information at IAWMF.org. Well, in case you missed it, we kicked off the fall season with Oktoberfest at the Mid-Florida Event Center. Residents enjoyed traditional German food and drink, live music, dancing, and of course, the signature feature of the event, the unforgettable Wiener Dog Race. Residents had a great time at the first ever PSL Country Music Tribute Bacon and Barbecue Fest. The two-day spectacular featured nine amazing national country tribute bands, delicious bacon and barbecue, country and western themed vendors, kids zone and petting zoo, entertainment and fun activities for the entire family. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls and friends had a great time at the Harvest and the Preserve at McCarty Ranch. This fun event had all the tricks and treats for all to enjoy. Hay rides, photo stops, a pumpkin patch, fortune telling, music, dancing, and food options for the entire family. The winner of Parks and Recreation's first ever neighborhood scarecrow competition was also announced at the event. Congrats go to Northport Village as the grand prize winner. Mid Florida Event Center also hosted the Fall Fun Fest. This three day event was jam packed with live music, a carnival, food vendors, and our Street of Treats trick or treating event. A Battle of the Bands competition also rocked the audience during the free event. And for the family favorite, the Port St. Lucie Police Department didn't disappoint with National Night Out. The night was filled with fun, food, and prizes for all to enjoy. Guests were entertained by all of PSLPD's many different units, whether it was K-9, SWAT, crime scene investigation, animal control, or fun and games with Explorer Post 411. Attendees had no shortage of something fun to do and something new to learn. Well, speaking of our police department, they are shining bright in this month's employee spotlight. Assistant Chief Del Toro, Police Administrator Bill May, and retired volunteer coordinator Tom Andrew were honored with the Leadership in Volunteer Police Programs Award at the International Association of Chiefs of Police Annual Awards Banquet in Dallas, Texas. Congratulations to everyone involved with our PSLPD volunteer programs. Well, that's it for this episode. Be sure to follow us on all the major social media outlets for constant updates on what's happening in your hometown. Connecting with us has never been easier. Download the One PSL app and keep your city at your fingertips. And if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more of what we produce, subscribe to our YouTube channel and never miss another video. I'm Maritza Diaz-Ott. And I'm Benjamin Elliott. See, see you, you next time. time.